So let's talk about Revere Platinum. Um, a paper very, very specific and tailor-made. I made this paper, started out making this paper, which was probably the most difficult, difficult paper to, to make because of the nature of the process. The, pa the process, a very niche palladium printing process. I'm not going to go into the details of the process. That could be another segment. But uh, it's 100% cotton fiber. It is uh, totally, totally acid-free and will yield during the platinum palladium process, has no calcium carbonate in it. And the reason it has no calcium carbonate in it is because the clearing process for platinum or palladium printing is generally an acid-based process. So you don't want to have any calcium, which is a buffer, and acid clearing. You don't want to have them battle one another in terms of the clearing. It'll affect the image. It will definitely affect the image. Um, the paper is not only suitable, even though it was tailor-made for Revere, uh, Revere Platinum was made for specifically for platinum and palladium printing, it is also an excellent drawing paper. You can also silk screen on it. Um, it is an incredible, incredible sheet of paper. It's available in 22 by 30. It's available in 30 by 44. It's also available in a box line of 8 by 10 and 11 by 15. And the companion grade to that, a very, very popular, probably one of the most popular papers that we carry for, uh, for platinum and palladium printing is called Arches Platine. And Arches Platine is also uh, a, a wonderful, wonderful platinum and palladium printing paper available in 22 by 30 and 30 by 44. It's also available in 145 gram as well as 310 gram. By the way, the weight on the Revere Platinum is 320 gram. The, the only difference, well, from a printability standpoint, it depends on who's printing the, the platinum and palladium print, who's doing the printing. As I said, it's a very, very specific chemical-based process. Um, the the uh, Arches Platine will yield a very warm print as compared to the Revere Platinum, which will yield a very, very cool print. Of course, this, these both can be adjusted chemically, but right out of the box, that's what they yield. 